In general, in order to find the determinant of a matrix, you can follow the summation formula, the summation of negative one raised to power one plus j, a sub one and j determinant of the matrix one and j. j starts from one and goes to n, and in general, you can calculate the cofactor for the location or the position i and j denoted by c sub i j equals to negative one to power i plus j determinant a i j. Or basically, the determinant of A is equal to A sub 1 and 1, the cofactor in the position 1 and 1, plus A sub 1 and 2, the cofactor in the position 1 and 2, and so on. Let's take a look at one example together. Here we have a 3 by 3 matrix. To find the determinant of this matrix, we're going to write C sub 1 and 1 and calculate it. Based on the formula, it is negative 1 raised to some exponent, which is I plus J but i is 1, j is 1, so the exponent is 1 plus 1, multiplied by the determinant of the matrix for 0, 1, and 2, which is basically just right here. So you get 1 times, as you remember how to calculate the determinant of 2 by 2 matrix, 4 times 2, minus 1 times 0. This c sub 1 and 1, or the cofactor is 8. With the same argument, you can find the cofactor for the second one, C of 1 and 2. Then the cofactor for 1 and 3 is equal to negative 11. Now, going back to the matrix itself, the determinant of A is 2 times 8 plus negative 1 times negative 2 plus 3 times negative 11, which gives you negative 15. So this is the determinant of this matrix.